Interesting to see how uh, Chanderpool goes. Big shot down the leg side. I mean, give it. Steve Davis has got the finger up. Nicely done by the keeper. Leg side dismissals are always difficult to handle, and Ram Ray Sawan would consider himself unlucky. Nicely held by the keeper. Walking down the leg side with the ball and appealing and appealing hard. And so another wicket falls. That of a settled batsman. Gone for 55. On edge and put down by Cameron Akmal, who's just taken a ripper down the leg side and missed out on this more orthodox catch on the offside. Well, this should have been taken. Yes, a straightforward chance. He took a difficult one down the leg side and uh, well, it must deflate Shada for his spirit. 13 to Gale, 55 to Sawa, and was critical as well. Marshall's 26. Oh, God. Salman Bhatt has been dismissed, just couldn't get going. Now is this one, is this the one they want? Yes, it's one for Jerome Taylor. Oh, bowl him. Bowl him. What a big wicket that is. And that was the pressure that was building up when you start looking at the scoreboard. There you go, as I said, come down the track. And it's uh, gone for four. Little misfield on the... Oh, magnificent shot from Shoaib Malik. That had a stamp of authority all over it. As he squeezed this passport, yes, he's done it. This is the type of momentum that Pakistan are hoping for in calling for this final power play. That's gone high, but it's not gone very far. Someone's under it, and oh, he takes it on the second attempt. Shattergoon is the man, and another wicket for Baker. Good strike down the ground. Malik has no problem striking it down the ground. He's doing a job here, but he's carrying a big load, Shoaib. 50 for Shoaib Malik. A real captain's knock. He has been under a lot of pressure and stress. Taken. That's a brilliant catch from Shivnarayan Chandapal. Wonderful bowling by Baker. His night just continues getting better and better. Leave some tension. The six went for it. I tell you what, has he got enough on this? You betcha. And it's gone all the way to finish the 44th over. It's 238 for five. Gone. Big wicket there for West Indies. Jerome Taylor strikes. Shoaib Malik looking to heave that overshot mid-wicket. He gets the danger man with a good catch. Shoaib out for 66. It's 262 for six. Shoaib Malik. 262 for six. The West Indies will suddenly feel that they have a chance of winning this game now with Shoaib Malik gone. Shoaib Malik gone, Danny. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Just in the break. Got a little excited. Of course, it was Shoaib Malik, the captain. Not Shoaib Akhtar. We've been showing Shoaib Akhtar a lot. Big fan of the big fellas, and uh, he looks relaxed. I said 50-50 a little while earlier when Shoaib Malik was out there, five overs to go. Now, the scenario changes. It changes again. What a shot that is. That's a run up I love it, I just can't believe it. We're right up here from our vantage point high up in the rafters, and I looked down there and I went, that's gone for six. 48 of them have gone. It's 272 for six. Here we go. One bounce to the fielder at long off, so Alam hasn't really been able to hit the big shots. David Williams still making notes. No, he's riding a leg 100 now. But anyway, there was seriousness here. 16 off five. It's not impossible here to snatch this but you have to whistle one here very quickly one and these next two deliveries has to disappear big time over the fence and Jerome Taylor is a good death bowler hello 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 this has gone all the way for the maximum game on folks yeah he was looking for that full length delivery but as it turned out it was just there in the slot for Cameron Akmal to play that shot I don't think he was really looking to go over long off as much as going over the bowler's head. Then just got to just slice it. But look at the distance that he's got. That's a bit bigger than Kowloon at Hong Kong. That is a clean stroke. Like you say, Sans, didn't even get quite all of it. And it still sailed comfortably over for six. Ten runs to win. 
Here we go. Oh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you little champion. That is another one. He is snatching this away from the West Indies. Shouldn't be happening. You've got to get the ball in the hole. And Taylor is not. Well, this is shocking. Two consecutive sixes. And look at the man. He's just relaxed there as if nothing's happened. Two glorious hits on the offside. Two huge sixes on a big ground against a fast bowler. And now you're looking at four runs to win from three balls, Danny. Absolutely. Those two there are just saying, got to get a Yorker in right now. Again, the length was uh, just right there in the slot for Kamran Akmal. He's going to get two for this. Alam wanted the third, but good thinking by Kamran Akmal. Oh, can you believe that? An extra run conceded. <laughs> it is all crazy here at Abu Dhabi. Now she's all tied up, folks. One to win. Uh, you're looking at one run to win from two balls. The fielders have all come in. 16 has already been scored. Incredible. Just shows you two maximums in the final over of a one international and this is why you come and watch it live great game of 50 over cricket no doubt about it everyone's been talking about pro 20 t20 cricket well i'll tell you what 50 over cricket isn't dead yet folks gotta knock the stumps over it's as simple as that he has to hit the woodwork to Jerome taylor well, they've got it through, through the ring of fielders and Pakistan have won this game. Listen to the crowd. Look at the crowd going berserk here in Abu Dhabi. They've won it. They are heroes. Against all odds, really, with about four overs to go, you had to say the West Indies were in control. It was mission impossible when Kamran Akmal came in. The last over set up. Jerome Taylor had bowled the earlier over. His earlier over in the spell quite effectively and your money was on West Indies. What happened there? Akmal with those two sixes in the final over getting that most unlikely win for Pakistan. Shoaib Malik, look at that innings of 66 of 50 balls. I thought he was the man who kept Pakistan in the hunt. In the end, the magic touch provided by young Kamran Akmal.